All right, Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say call Lay Bla. Excuse me, Slaka. I want to say call Lay Bla. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, a sincere Shalom to Ankim out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name. We have Bashim al Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. All right, so uh, this lesson is going to be titled The Corruptible Crown. Okay? And then, uh, you know, because, um, you know, uh, this this truth, you know, that we're, that we're uh, in, uh, in, you know, us being in the, the ministry, you know, you know, as far as the, you know, the Akim go, you know, we're, um, we're not doing this, you know, to be seen of men. We're not doing this, you know, uh, because this is, you know, the uh, a trend. Okay, we're doing this to obtain eternal salvation, eternal glory, in which you know all Israel are going to receive, you know, eternal, you know, glory because you know they're the Israelites and they're going to get the kingdom regardless. But the elect, you know, they're going to, you know, get that crown. Okay, they're gonna get that crown, you know, but and and that glory, and but it's not going to perish. It's not going to fade away or diminish, you know. And just like how it says in First Corinthians nine twenty five, you know, um, it says that uh, you know, uh, well, let me get it real quick. I don't want to butcher it. First uh, Corinthians nine and verse, I'll start twenty four. It says, "No, ye." Know ye not that they which run in the race run all, but one received the prize, so run that ye may obtain, right? So so right now we're running the race, okay? We're you know, we're taking our time, you know, we're taking you know, we're taking strides and you know, being consistent and you know in and, and being you know at a at a steady pace, okay? Because you got a term in uh, um and uh, the marathons is called hitting. It's called uh, uh, hit the wall. Now that term hit the wall means basically when you when you are gassed out and, and overly exhausted. And that's one thing you don't want to be in this truth. You don't want to burn your gas out. You know you want to, you know, uh, take your time. You know, step by step. You don't want to bite off more than you can chew because eventually you'll you'll get a burn out. Okay. Now of course. You know, you got, uh, you know, you got brothers that have, you know, uh, bigger portions that the Lord has given them, you know, but you still want to find your, your pace. You want to, you know, you want to uh, find your pace while still being in the race and still being, um, uh, well, how can I say, still being, um, um, consistent, if you will. Okay. So it says verse 25 and every man that strive for the mastery is temperate in all things. Right. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. All right. Now, real quick. Now, real quick. I'm going to read uh, the same verse, but I'm going to read it in the NIV just to get a more clearer, straightforward uh, um, um, under, uh, uh, understanding, if you will. So like you. So right here, 1 Corinthians 9 20 and 25 in the NIV says, Everyone who competes in, in the games goes straight into training. They do it to get a crown that will not last. Right? So you got guys like Mike Tyson. Okay. Kobe Bryant. Hey, look at Kobe. He got five rings. You know, five championships. You know, hard fought battle. But look at him. You know, you know, and, and, and not to speak ill of the dead because he's passed on. You know, he, know, he knows that he's an Israelite now. But just speaking on what happened to Kobe, you know, he... He, you know, he passed away, but but uh, but now his works that he did, you know, is vain because he can't enjoy him. Now, of course, you know, he you know he he you know he had the champagne showers. He celebrated his five championship wins, but it's vain, you know. He can't pass those rings down onto his children, you know. He can't do he can't do no he can't do anything. All right, that's why he, that's why King Solomon said in the book of Ecclesiastes. He says that, you know, everything that is done under the sun is, is vanity, okay? Everything everything that men do here on earth with their hands is vain, okay? The work they do is vain. You know, Mike Tyson, 
You know, um, and, and speaking of Mike Tyson, it was a video that Apostle Bar did a couple years back going in about, you know, about, um, you know, um, you know, the, the corruptible crown. Because it was a video of Mike Tyson saying that how his uh, title championship belts didn't mean anything. He said it was garbage, you know, and here and here it is a, a multi-champion, a, a heavyweight champion, Mike Tyson, a, a great of a, a warrior, boxer, athlete. You know, had, you know, everything, you know, but years, fast four years later, he's saying, he's saying those championship wins didn't mean a damn thing. Okay. So they go into strict training. They go into, you know, discipline and, you know, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, uh, uh, damn, it's the, my mind is failing right now, but for lack of better term or words, you know, they go into, uh, uh, you know, hardcore training, you know, they, they, they discipline her body, you know, to do all this work, but yet it's vain, you know, it's vain because what we're doing is incorruptible. All right. What we're doing is, you know, is for eternal glory, you know, and, and, and what, and, and what, and what they doing to put the work in is for temporal glory. Okay. So, so let's finish it off in the NIV. It says, they do it to get a crown that would not last, right? So, so they're doing it to get a crown that's not gonna, you know, uh, that's not uh, gonna have any, you know, uh, 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 longevity, if you will. Okay. Now, of course, it may have you know, a couple years here and there, but it's not gonna be eternal. And it says, but we do it to get a crown that will last forever, right? Who is the we? The elect. Okay. We we are doing the will of the Father Yahweh Shmuel Shai. To get that that ultimate crown, okay, we put in the work now so that way we can, you know, be exalted later, you know, just like how Kobe Bryant, you know, Michael Jordan, and Floyd Mayweather, they put in the work, you know, before or beforehand so that way they can be great later. But the only difference is that the greatness is not going to last, okay. And real quick, let's look at the definition of the word corruptible. All right, corruptible. <clears throat> Let me see. Go to the, the Blue Letter Bible. Actually, Salakia. All right. Uh, all right. So the word, so the word cor corruptible means um, perishing, decayed. Let's go to the root word to destroy. All right. Strong's G fifty three forty nine, Thartas, Thartas, Thartas. I write in the word the Greek word is Thartas, and, and it means perishing, corruptible, all right, destroying, decaying. Okay, so everything that those guys, you know, the work they put in, it just really is in vain. Okay, but guess what? Our works are not in vain. You know, our, our you know um, our works are gonna follow us, and to prove that, let's get this. This is First Corinthians fifteen. This is a, a, a amazing scripture. You know, it's, it's very beautiful because this scripture is, is really a faith booster because if you keep doing the work of the Lord, you know, and if you keep, you know, serving the Lord with all truth and sincerity, you know, in, amen. In, in all faith, amen. This this scripture, this is a very good one, you know, because it it, it, it boosts you. You know, it, 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 uh, it, it gives you that um, that spiritual push to keep going. All right. So this is 1 Corinthians 15 and 58, and it says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, okay, being meaning what? Being watertight, you know, being grounded, okay, being being stuck to this doctrine, adhering to the words of Yahweh Bashmah Shai and sticking to them, not being tossed to and fro. And it says, always abounding, okay, always abounding in the work of the Lord. All right. Always being indulged in the work of the Lord, always being, you know, uh, um, meditating on privacy, you know, all, you know, um, always striving, you know, to get that incorruptible crown. All right. And it says, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Right. man. So our labor that we do is, is not in vain. But the labor that, you know, Mike Tyson did and Michael Jordan and the, you know, the LeBron James and so on and so forth, you know. The Stephen Curry's, you know, you get the point. 
the work that they did is in vain. Okay. The work, the work that they did is in vain. You know, their their discipline. You know, they're waking up early in the morning to work out. Okay, their 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 hardcore diets. You know, their their strict meal plans. You know, all all those things they they did to receive a crown that is that is that's gonna perish. You know, ultimately. But us, you know, our crown's not gonna perish. Our crown's gonna be forever. All right. That's why he says, um, in the book of Peter's, it says, um, well, I'll get it real quick. I believe it's second Peter, second Peter one and 10. Yep. Second Peter one and 10. And it says, wherefore the rather brethren give diligence, right? Being steadfast, you know, giving diligence, you know, be consistent, you know, being, you know, being, you know, um, being uh, on point. It says, give diligence to make your, to make your calling and election sure right so just like the, the scriptures say you know uh, um uh work out uh, worked out your own salvation okay now of course the, this is a brotherhood we're in this thing together you know we're, we're we we all get the same penny but you want to you know be you know uh, be a man in this truth you know and you know and, and show forth your uh, diligence okay you don't want to you know uh, ride a brother's coattail hey and and, and this is a message to myself first and foremost. I'm not exempt from any of this. It, okay. This is not only for the sheep, but also for myself. Okay. And it says, for if ye do these things, ye shall never fail or fall. Excuse me. Right, man. So if you keep the faith, if you hold the crown, which thou hast, you know, hold that fast, you know, mean what this truth, if you continue to push and endure through your by small shot, guess what? You know, you're not going to fail. Okay. Because ultimately, you know, that means that you're what? The elect. And that's beautiful. And, and Lord's will, I'm part of that elect remnant. Okay? Because nothing nothing in this, in this world is 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 out here for us, man. All right? Nothing in, in this world is, is worth to chase. Okay? But this truth. This is the book of 2nd Ezra. 2... And I'll start at verse forty-two, and it says, "I Ezra saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them there was a young man of a high stature, taller than the taller, excuse me, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads he set crowns." And was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So the, this man that was taller than the rest was Yahweh, is Yahweh Shai. This is a, a vision that the Lord gave to Edris, you know, showing showing Edris, you know, the uh, the uh, crowning of the elect, in which this is going to happen. Yahweh Shai is actually going to crown his men. All right, and this is that crown that we hope to you know to uh, to get. Okay, the, the, this is that ultimate. That ultimate glory that we uh, hope to receive from you from Yahweh Shai, man. All right, man. I, man, oh man. You know, words can't even explain how how great of a feeling that is going to be. Okay, where I, I can I can't even put you know while being in this wretched flesh, I can't even put together the 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 words how I feel right now and based off just reading the scripture, man. You know, that's gonna be one. Ooh, that's going to be one glorious occasion. I tell you that. And it says, and upon every one of their heads, who is the there? The elect. Okay. He set crowns. All right. Now, of course, you know, hey, you got, you know, you, you got guys who receive championships, you know, around their waist, who receive gold medals, Michael Phelps, trophies and whatnot. All right. But guess what? They didn't receive that from you. I was shy. They received that from a a, a, a a referee, you know, just a, just another man, you know, just doing his job. But us, we're gonna we're gonna actually receive crowns from Yahweh Shah himself, the only begotten, the King of King, Kings and Lord of Lords, the Alpha and the Omega. Okay, let that sink in, man. And it says. 
uh, and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, These be they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal, and have confessed the name of the Most High Yahweh, Bahashim Shai, and uh, now are they crowned and receive palms. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowned them and gave them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, It is the son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay, so Edra's asking, like, who, who is this? This young man giving, you know, these men crowns and, you know, palms or whatnot. And, and uh, you know, the, <clears throat> the, the angel said, uh, 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 um, excuse me, lost my point. So like it. Then the angel said, hey, it's the, it's the son of the Most High, Yahweh Shai. All right. It's Yahweh Shai, man. And then so on. And then, then Edra's proceeded to commend them, you know, to, to, to commend and, and uh, 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 congratulate these men that that have stood so stiffly for the name of uh, of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, and that's why we do it, you know, being stiff in the name, being having faith in the name of, uh, of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, being being un, 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 unmovable and steadfast, okay, because we know what, what we're doing this for, all right. We're not doing this for a crown that is incorruptible, but a crown that is excuse me, slack yeah. We're not doing this for a crown that's that's corruptible, but a crown that's incorruptible. Excuse me, I, I messed my words up. All right, and hey, man, you know that crown is, is is coming. Okay, okay. So you wanna you know keep the, the uh, your uh, your faith. You know you wanna you know keep enduring. You know praying to the Lord to to keep you to to be pushing. You know and just to stay in the right track, the uh, the right path of righteousness. All right, stay on the right track. Keep the eye solved, that tunnel vision, so that way, in the long run, the end, you will be, you know, you'll be uh, found uh, uh, um, worthy, you know, innocent, you know, and and to be delivered, okay? Because that's all we want to be is delivered, man, you know. Now, of course, all lyrics are in the end; they're gonna be in the kingdom, but it's how you get there, and I want to get there in the chariot, you know. So that being said, I just want to say, call on La. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhakwadash. Double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. You know, once again, a shalom to Anki Mount there. Any, any few sisters that may be listening to and then. That being said, shalom.